Can you tell whether this was made with AI or filmed in real life? Most AI videos give themselves away instantly by being too robotic and too clinical. Whether you're experimenting with AI or you're editing footage that just doesn't feel quite right, fake looking footage makes people click away. But in just a few simple steps inside DaVinci Resolve, you can humanize any video. And the last step is so subtle, you'll wonder why you never used it before. So here's an AI generated video of me talking. Let's go and humanize it. The first thing we're going to do, and this is kind of optional, but it really helps, is to change the aspect ratio of the video. Most AI video generators generate a 16 by nine aspect ratio video. And part of this process is to try and give this video a more human and dare I say, cinematic look and feel. There's a few Few different ways that we can do this in Resolve. The first is to open up the media pool, right click on the timelines, choose timelines and timeline settings. Uncheck this box and then just go and change the X and Y dimensions. For example, if we wanted a two to one aspect ratio, we could simply change this to 960 and hit OK. Notice we've got these red lines and that's because the video is not scaling up. To fix that, we can come back to the timeline settings click mismatched resolution and choose scale full frame with crop. Now the video will fill the frame. Let me show you the second way that you can do that. We'll send these timeline settings back to the project settings. So now we're back to 16 by nine. The second way is to use these PNG overlays. Let's go and add the 2.39 to one aspect ratio. I'm gonna drag this PNG in and drag it on top of the video. Immediately, we get that cinema vibe. One of the advantages of changing the aspect ratio, regardless of how you do it, is that you get to reposition the video. Click on the AI generated video, open up the inspector, and now you can use the Y position to reframe things how you want. But if you stop here, you'll miss the hidden advantage of actually changing the video resolution. I'm gonna come back to the timeline settings and we're gonna uncheck use project settings. The AI generated video that we're working with was 1920 by 1080 HD. But we're gonna change the timeline to 4K UHD. We'll also set this back to center crop with no resizing and hit okay. Now we have that 1080p video that was generated with AI inside a 4K timeline. And the PNG overlay we added expected a 1080 resolution, so we can go and remove that. If you want to generate 4K AI video, often you're gonna have to pay the highest tier and pay a lot of money just to get that 4K output. Let me show you how we can upscale this and get really good results. We're gonna select the video and open the inspector. Scroll down to the bottom and click on AI Superscale. Turn it on by clicking this toggle. In this case, we want to double the size of this video. So we're going to choose 2X Enhanced to get the best possible quality. You can then also adjust the sharpness and noise reduction to get the look that you want. In this case, I'm going to set these both down to zero. We also need to reset the position because we moved it up and down before. And now we've got this 1080 video upscaled and playing in a 4K timeline. And now that we've got more detail, we can actually mess it up on purpose to make this video feel real. I've added the 2.39 to 1 4K version of that PNG overlay, and now we're gonna switch over to the color tab. If you don't see your video, click on clips and make sure the AI video is selected in the timeline and you can turn it off to make more space. Open up the effects and search for Film Look Creator and drag that on to this node. As you can see, the film look created can give us some really stylized looks, and most of these are gonna be a bit too strong for the effect that we're going for. Instead, what we're going to do is choose from the presets and choose clean slate. That's gonna turn off all of the effects and let us choose what we want. So there's loads of things that you can do with this effect. There's all of these things that you might want to experiment with, but in this video, I'm gonna show you the two that make the most sense to me. The first is this vignette. A vignette darkens the corners of the frame, just like this was shot with a real lens where sometimes the outside of the frame is darker. Click this button to enable it and then choose the amount and the strength that you want. As I'm doing this, you can see the edges of the frame go from normal to darkened. You can change the size of the vignette to get the effect you want. I'll leave this on maximum just so you can see what's happening. The second effect we're going to use is this grain. Expand this down and tick to enable. 
You can also experiment with all of these things to get the exact amount of grain you want. We're going to leave this set to 35 millimeter and we're going to leave all of these things as their default. So if I zoom right in on this image, we've now got all of this grain covering the image and it's kind of making this look like it was shot with a real camera where we have noise or grain. If I disable this, it looks a lot more clinical in the AI. And if I re-enable this, we get that grain back. So this is already starting to feel like a movie. But here's the truth. Often what gives a video away as being AI generated is not the visuals, it's the audio. Switch over to the Fairlight page. For the audio track where the AI video is sitting, in this case Audio 1, double click on this EQ section. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like without this effect. I want to talk to you about something that doesn't get enough attention in the YouTube creator world. We can use the EQ to shape the frequencies of this AI generated voice. Let's turn on band one and we'll lower some of the frequencies that we can't hear. We can boost the low end to give it a bit more bass and maybe add a little bit more here. Have a listen to this with it on and off. I want to talk to you about something that doesn't get enough attention in the YouTube creator world, regret. And you can spend a lot more time on this than I'm doing here to get a more pleasing sound. EQ is great, but one simple effect can do even more to make this sound like a real person. Click this plus button to add an audio effect, come down to reverb and choose reverb. Click this drop down list to get the presets and choose concert hall. This is going to sound way too much at the minute. Listen to this. I want to talk to you about something that doesn't get enough attention in the... But we can use this dry wet mix to soften it out. If I set this to zero, we wouldn't get any effect and 100% is just the reverb. So we're going to drop this down to about 4.5. Have a listen now. I want to talk to you about something that doesn't get enough attention in the YouTube creator world. The reverb effect makes it sound like that AI voice was being spoken in a real room. But still, there's something missing, and it's the subtle detail that helps tie everything together. We're going to head back to the edit page, and we're going to go and add another audio file. You can find your own audio file, but I use Epidemic Sound for all of my music and sound effects, and if you want a free trial, check out the first link in this video's description. We're going to head over to sound effects, and then we're going to search for something called room tone. Room tone is a very subtle background noise that helps make it feel like the video was created in a real life area. So you can choose the one you want here. Epidemic Sound's got loads. I'm going to use this one that I've already downloaded and we're going to add it to the timeline. If it's too short, we can just duplicate it to get the length we want. I'm going to solo the room tone track and have a listen. And now you can go and set the level of this to mix it in to the overall audio of the video. Views, subs, revenue. This is super subtle, but really effective on a subconscious level. Let's take a look at the final result. I want to talk to you about something that doesn't get enough attention in the YouTube creator world, regret. See, when you start a YouTube channel, it's easy to think the only thing that matters is growth. And in just six steps, we've taken that clinical robotic AI generated video and made it feel more human and more cinematic or movie like. Which of these six tips did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. And for more DaVinci Resolve training, please subscribe to DaVinci Dojo. I'm Jason Roberts, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.